guys, it's Beverly. I hope you guys all had a marvelous Christmas and are staying warm. Finally in Florida today, it's 75, so I know it's warmer for you guys. When it's warmer for me, I know it's warmer for you guys. Um, I just wanted to show you some of the things I've been working on. Look at this contraption. I decided to loom knit a little bit here. Boy, do you have to have patience to do this. Um, my crochet club got a bunch of red heart yarn donated in black. And so I decided to make a blanket. And so far, I'm on the third full skein. And I've got another full skein, and then there was some uh, scrap balls, all in black. And I um, did an e-wrap of 184 pegs. And what you do is, I've got them marked here, I don't know if you can see the pearls. There's two pearls here. And when I started out, I did... A row of knit, a row of purl, a row of knit, and another row of purl. And then the body of it is knitted. And then when you are on the ends, see here's the end here, and the other end is over here, or the edge. Um, you do a knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, and then knit all the way across. So you definitely have to have some patience when you're doing a blanket on one of these. I got this loom at a yard sale for five bucks. <laughs> and we all know that knitting with black yarn or crocheting with black yarn, it's mostly crochet. It's harder to see. So I've always wanted to, to do a knitted loom blanket so that's what I've been working on but, but like I said boy do you have to have patience and then I was looking at the pattern <clears throat> and when they you cast it off or bind it off they want you to do a single crochet border so I might do a half double crochet border because I like that better but I don't know if you can see this the fabric is coming out pretty nice it's coming out as a nice fabric, and I just thought it would be nice uh, for a donated blanket. And I have my ends. I have to put in my ends on here. If you can see my ends, I know I got a black shirt on, or yeah, a black shirt and a black blanket. So that's some of what I've been working on. And then I have Kit's bag um, from All Crochet. All things crochet and knit with Kit. She gave me this bag. She gifted me this bag. And I started doing the um, baby blanket with the ice cream yarn that I bought at Hob Hobby Lobby. This is a free pattern from Lion Brand. And I'll post it below. But you use three um, balls of the Lion Brand ice cream yarn and a G crochet hook. And I started it yesterday. So it's going pretty fast. It's kind of lightweight, which is, is good. And I have a picture here of the, what it's supposed to look like. And if you look at it, it's the one where you start it one way and then you have... You turn it and then you go to two ways so I think I'm on the center part which I'm going to do it 30 inches and then you do it down the sides on top and bottom so so this part would actually be like this and then you would do the other part underneath and on top but it's coming out nice. Um, it's a, all half double crochets. And you uh, chain 52. And then you um, 
skip the first two chains and do half double crochet so you have 50 across and of course I'm not color controlling it and um, they probably didn't either but I have this color and let's see what the name of the color is name of the color is ice cream and the name of the color is tutti frutti tutti frutti and it's 100% acrylic number three it's three and a half ounce skein and 100 grams each. And so I've got two more of these. But yesterday I started this and I have this much done. So I think it's pretty good. So I'm looking here and I haven't, oh, I did print off some patterns. I printed off a pattern for a pair of knit socks. <laughs> I'm going to try these. Uh, see how fast they go. Normally what I do is I knit the first one and I'm real happy. But then it's like I got a whole make a no other project to complete the project. And I want to make the top of the sock taller. Um, the, the guy that picks up our donations, you know, he mentions something about socks. And we need to do socks. I've been looking at those um, knitting machines, the 22... Um, stitch or 22 needles and I've been looking at those they're not very expensive and wouldn't it be great to just whip out a pair of socks you know really quick like that so um, I'm thinking about that but I haven't t taken the plunge yet so if you guys have any input on those knitting machines I've been watching uh, different people's knitting reviews and I can't think of her name right now and then of course uh, Bag O'Day um, she did the Addy and I'm just just thinking about it we haven't you know jumped the gun yet on that because I'm not really sure if I want to put the money out for it because sometimes I hear that they're cheap or sometimes you know they're noisy and then you have to hold it and all that stuff so I'm kind of wondering about that but but anyway that's what I've been working on and um, oh I just wanted to tell you and I'm sure you guys are going through the same thing um, I shipped one of my customers ordered a package and they lived in Canada and so I shipped it from Florida to Canada uh, I think it's north of Toronto. An hour north of Toronto is the destination. It was hung up in customs for 12 days. The lady was kind of rude. <laughs> and, of course, it's not my fault it's hung up in customs, you know. And um, But it finally got delivered late, of course, and I gave her the information. And then I had another lady from Florida to Minnesota. Well, the package made it to St. Paul, Minnesota, and then it went to Connecticut. <laughs> so it's on its way from Connecticut. And so it's like, I don't want to go to Connecticut this time of year because it's so cold. But my packages are getting, you know, more of vacation than me. And then uh, I ordered the T Doddles uh, Christmas mini maker bag. And it's more than 10 days late. So it says that it's in, La in Atlanta. So we're going to see where it went. <laughs> but that's kind of what's going on. But I've been listening to other YouTubers. And they're all having shipping issues. And um, I've been listening to the Vlogmas. I'm so happy, you know, listening and visiting with everybody every day. And I just wanted to check in and see how you guys are all doing. Thank you so much for my new subscribers. Uh, if you have any suggestion of content that you'd like to see, please leave a comment. I'm always open to do tutorials. And you guys have a great day. Thanks for checking in with me. Bye.